now on the Thales exhibit at uh, the Paris Air Show 2013 and I'm uh, with uh, Laurent Duport, uh, Director of uh, Strategy and uh, Business Development for the Air Defense Activities of the Thales Group. Uh, could you uh, introduce the Rapid Fire to us please? Yes, so we are uh, pleased to, to present the Rapid Fire, uh, a new uh, air defense uh, gun uh, this is uh, based on a 40 uh, millimeter uh, caliber uh, gun developed by Nexter uh, and we, we have developed uh, a fire control uh, and integrated this gun on a truck into, in order to have a very mobile air defense gun. Uh, the characteristic of this gun is that it's uh, first very mobile but also very accurate. It's a big change uh, regarding uh, air defense guns. In the past, uh, the, the tendency was to have very high firing rates uh, to try to, to reach a target. Now we have developed here a very accurate uh, gun with a specific airburst ammunition which gives uh, a very high efficiency to, to the gun. Uh, it's very, it will be very efficient against aircraft, helicopters, but also smaller targets like uh, UAVs. And in this case, the, the fact uh, using a gun is a, a very good uh, solution because it's cheaper than, uh, than using missiles. Can you describe uh, the room uh, we're sitting inside right now? Yes, so we are not in the gun presently. We are in the uh, com tactical command and control uh, that has in charge the coordination of several gun units. So you, we, we can deploy up to six uh, gun units around this uh, tactical C2 and here in this room we uh, at the same time we establish the uh, air situation uh, with information coming from a radar one of the ground master radars from the Thales portfolio we have the coordination with an upper level of command and control when the customer wants to integrate this system into a wider air defense uh, system and we have the capability of course to coordinate the guns so for any threat to select the best uh, gun unit to uh, fire on the target. Can you go into some uh, technical details regarding the gun, uh, such as uh, the capability uh, to fire on the, move, on the move, and uh, also any capability to fire at uh, ground targets? So uh, I mentioned the caliber, 40 millimeter. Uh, this gives a, a very good range for an air defense gun, typically 4,000 meters for this kind of gun. Uh, Fire, firing on the move is possible with a gun. Uh, the best accuracy is reached when the gun is uh, when, when the truck is stabilized. But in any case, we can uh, we can fire on the move. Uh, you are right. We have also a capability to fire on uh, ground targets. We have a, a set of uh, ammunitions, different ammunitions. So we have uh, an optimized airburst ammunitions dedicated to uh, air targets, optimized for air targets. But we have also other ammunition such as uh, darts, for example, to penetrate uh, armored vehicles. So the, the gun is fully uh, operational also against ground targets. Uh, can you tell us uh, the reason why uh, that uh, system was uh, developed and uh, also your uh, outlook in the future for the system? Okay, so I will come back in the past. Uh, 30 years ago we had air defense guns in our portfolio uh, they were quite good solutions but then we decided to stop because we were considering that the performance of these guns in air defense were uh, poor and we prefer to sell only uh, missile systems uh, considering the emergence of drones and probably the proliferation of drones in the coming years we had to think differently of how we'll address these specific threats. I'm not talking of uh, high altitude uh, drones, but uh, medium size or smaller size drones for which we, we will not uh, employ missiles uh, to defeat these drones. And so that's one of the reasons why we have uh, developed the gun. The, the second reason is that there, there is a big change in the technology. Uh, so I mentioned the accuracy of this gun, 
Uh, I mentioned the type of uh, airburst ammunition, which gives now a very good performance, very good kill probability for, for the gun. So that's the rationale for coming back into air defense guns. Uh, there is a need, new threats, and there is also a technical solution. Uh, then the, the, fu the future. Uh, we, we've launched officially the product uh, during Eurosat last year. Uh, end of last year, uh, we conducted uh, test uh, firings of uh, new airburst ammunition. It was uh, something we, we, we had to do uh, during uh, uh, last year. So we did in December uh, trials to, uh, to prove the performance of this ammunition. And our next step is, uh, before the end of this year, to have a, a live trial with these ammunition to really demonstrate the, the full capability of the gun. And it will be, I will say, the, the final step for the, the qualification of the product.